Howdy Ponzi coders. We're going to go over the wonderful world of uh, making a customized toast. Um, as you might recall, our toast in the previous build looked something like this. I'm going to run it here. So, not too bad. It told us the symbol can't be blank. Um, but the positioning is not uh, is not optimal. So the first thing we can do uh, to make this a little bit more customized, and instead of typing this in, I'm just going to go over the code. So I'm going to comment this first part out, and you can go in and uh, toggle comments here. So. Whereas before, I was just uh, making a toast uh, using the toast make text method. In this case, I'm actually going to assign it to a reference variable. So I'm going to create a reference variable toast no symbol is equal to, and it's essentially um, the same thing that we uh, had up here, except you'll see that I've left off. Uh, the show method because I want to do a couple of things before um, I use the show method. The first thing I want to do is I want to use our, my reference variable. I'm going to say no symbol and I'm going to set uh, gravity. And I'm not quite sure why um, the Android development team decided to use the term gravity, but when you see gravity, whether it's in an XML file or whether it's in uh, a method or within the Java code, it is going to have to do with um, the orientation of whatever you know object you're working on. In this case, where our toast um, is going to show up. So we're going to set the gravity. Um, we're going to say we want it to be uh, center horizontal, center vertically, and then these are the x and y offsets to that um, to that position. So I just kind of played around with it, um, put a negative 150. And then, don't forget, we still need to um, take this reference variable and use the show method to actually show our, uh, our toast. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's run it again. Nice if I turn my phone on. There we go. And now when I press get quote, you can see we still have the same message, but it's moved up. So we have some uh, customizability. Now, if you want to go crazy, like I always like to do, and really uh, dig in this uh, and make something really customized, uh, we can do the following. And I'm going to take this uh, step by step. So let me uncomment on a Mac it's command uh, slash. So whereas here we were just using the default toast, here we were setting a reference variable, creating um, a toast reference variable and then assigning it um, to the generic toast. Here we're actually um, creating uh, our our own uh, toast object and inflating it ourselves. So uh, we need to set a context, which I've done here. Uh, this is another class called the layout inflator. Without getting too involved in it, you're just you're creating an inflator reference variable, and you're asking it. Uh, to use this method get layout uh, inflator and then we're actually creating uh, our own view um, in an XML file which we'll go over in just a second and we're inflating that uh, and giving it to this variable called toast root okay 
So as you can see, just like we have with text views and edit text elements and buttons, uh, this is pointing to our layout, uh, the layout subdirectory, and I've got something called a uh, called no symbol um, as an XML file. And let's take a look at that. So everything in here you've you've seen before, and you can just stop the video and type this in. Um, verbatim, you're going to want to uh, right click on layout, create a new XML um, layout file. Uh, we've got some padding in here. You will notice a couple of, uh, a couple of things. We're going to come back to this Android background in a second. Um, but you see Android source here. Uh, I have um, created a small icon that I wanted to put as an image view within uh, our our toast here we can take a look at it so this image it's just a picture of a beach scene and no one's on the beach in this chair I don't know I thought it was appropriate who knows um, but that is uh, that's the image that's going to show up and to the right of that image is the can't leave symbol blank now you probably noticed that uh, we've got a different background color actually a different exterior the stroke around this border it's got uh, some curvature in the corners so how do we do that well that's where the uh, background, the Android background, um, comes in. And you can define a shape uh, within an XML file. The only problem is that Eclipse um, and the helper apps that come with it, uh, it's not real easy to create an XML um, file and with regards to a shape. So for example, I'm going to go in here and say new uh, Android XML file and you'll notice that there's no like shape um, type of, of resource here. And Android is really uh, and Eclipse are really picky about how you create um, XML files. And I had to go through a bunch of different ways of doing this before I found one um, that actually worked. What you want to do instead of creating an XML uh, file for the shape, uh, you want to actually uh, create a, a new um, untitled text file. And then you can copy the contents of this uh, or type it in um, of this shape uh, or the shape parameters and then save it in your drawable uh, directory and you know I tried using an outside text editor and then saving it in uh, the drawable subdirectory but I got all sorts of errors so this was the way that I did it and it worked um, you can do it uh, you know, experiment with different ways, and if you find a different way to do it, um, comment on the YouTube video and, and let me know how you did it. Um, but you can stop the video here, and this is the code that's going to set the border, um, the background color, the border color, as well as uh, the the padding. Um, and the radius of the corners if you want the corners to have a radius and so you just go into your uh, layout XML file and you just point to it so here Android background is pointing to in the drawable subdirectory this no symbol um, border so the three elements we have are we've got the background We've got the image view, which is the chair, 
and then uh, to the right we have um, the text and I just made it all white as far as the text color there's a lot of properties that you can set here and you can experiment with um, and the fact that I'm kind of colorblind uh, makes the uh, you know this this toast probably super ugly and you're gonna want to change the colors and do all sorts of other customized things um, but this is the way this is the way I did it uh, so we've inflated it uh, to our reference variable the toast root and then um, we create the toast and just like before just like we set uh, the toast uh, length we do that here and um, the only thing different here is we're actually setting the view what it's gonna what we're gonna point to and that's where uh, we're pointing to that toast root so we inflated toast root which goes back to our no symbol um, XML file which also has as a background our drawable no symbol border um, and that all gets rolled into the reference variable toast root gets passed to set view and gets passed to the toast and then finally uh, just like with the customized toast as far as positioning we can do that right here it's going to be um, center on both the horizontal and vertical and we're going to do an offset in this case I found uh, negative 120 uh, was right was about right and then uh, we show it so let's go ahead and save this and run it and let's see what it looks like alrighty here and there it is can't leave symbol blank uh, it's positioned where I want it um, and despite the image and colors being offensive to you potentially uh, customize it to your heart's intent alright go have fun I'll see you in the next video